Okay, hi everybody, this is Li Jing Duan. So today my topic for this presentation is the problems of food day labels in Minnesota. So I'm a food science major and the reason and this is the reason why I choose this as a topic today. Um, I first I first learned this topic um, from one of my classes. I thought this was this was really interesting because it was completely different from what I know before. And hopefully today I'm gonna bring some new facts of food day labels to everybody here. My original research question was the problem of food day labels in the US, but shortly after that I realized um, I like resources um, and time to accomplish uh, um, research nationwide, so I have to keep it local, so I changed it local, so I changed it to um, the problem of food day labels in Minnesota. My hypothesis was that the food day labels confuse most consumers and the practice is inconsistent. The incomplete um, regulation in this area can take some responsibilities. Here is my rhetorical situation. I am a, a food sustainability officer from Minnesota Food Association. I, um, because lots of consumers kept calling me uh, regarding to the problems on uh, confusion of food day labels, so I decided to, um, wrote, uh, to start this project, research project and I didn't find those problems present in the food dating, uh, food dating system and call for future um, research project on this problem. Here is my research triangle. I didn't, I didn't actually rely a lot on print source, but I rely, rely heavily on electronic source and empirical source. Um, my fi all my findings are, con uh, are consistent with each other and with what I learned from my class, so I'm very confident with my findings here. This is my methodologies. I have the methodologies was defined in three levels. The first level is the consumer level. I did a survey about it. The second level is manufactured retailer level. I did two grocery trips, um, grocery store trips to Rainbow Food and Cup Foods. The third level is professional level. I did an interview with the um, Dr. Tyler Busa, the professor of, um, of food science and nutrition department of University of Minnesota. And here's a little extra one here is the outside sources. I, so I studied peer reviewed articles and Minnesota state laws to explain and um, support my findings here. Here's the, here's the combination of, the, of my result and discussion. Um, um, so it's showing here is the is one of the questions from my survey. This, this question is very useful because I think it indicated the most popular food day labels shown here. It's used by day, expiration date and sell by day, maybe day of manufacture too. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the first three. So I'm gonna start with the sell by date. I think a lot of consumers would um, mix sell by date and use by date together. But um, sell by date is actually just it's just used for um, just used for retailers to rotate rotate their um, inventory. So it has um, limited things to do with consumers, but lots of consumers still will sell away food that pass sell by date. And the other two use by date expiration date, I have two citations from state law here. It's long, but I'm not going to read this. But I highlighted those important part here. There are two confusion part with this two definitions. I interpret the first one as the use by day. The second one is the best if used by day, if I'm right. So the first confusion is that the use by day, it's just showing here, is use by day is not microbiological safety um, based, but it's quality based. So after the day, and if you store your food right, your food is still edible. Um, but it may not maintain its original freshness. The second one is that after that day, your food may not uh, may not be good to eat. Um, the second misleading part is here. The the um, statement from the state laws are very confusing. You see the freshness date and the expiration date. The statements are very uh, close to each other. One is like maximum. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. One is for maximum freshness use before the other is for best result use before. I can't tell the difference. Now let's think about this case. When you do, go to the grocery store and you see like two days, one is used by day, one is best if used by day. Can you tell them apart? 
I, I can't, I don't know what's the different. So it's like a confusing part here. Here is, uh, here is the, uh, another question which is very interesting. This question is that how would you feel if you find out retailers selling past due food? More than 60% of um, um, participants would think it, um, they are running a fraud business. But the sale of past due food is not illegal in Minnesota because it's not regulated. But the retailers, uh, retailers would still remove their the past due food away because they want to keep their good reputation. As you can see here, lots of consumers just think it's a bad practice here. Here's the result I got from my grocery store trips. There's a lot of findings, but I'm just going to point out this one. So the milk, the food date label of milk is regulated by the Minnesota state law. But um, actually, I found I found um, a date on every milk product, but it didn't. Uh, it doesn't like um, indicate what kind of date label it is. Just like a date, nothing else. So it's confusing. I don't know if it's if it's a sell by date or expiration date, anything else. I don't know. And here's the two point two uh, good points from my interview experience. So um, Dr. Labuza pointed that the Congress has not given any duty on duty of regulating food day labels to any agencies. Maybe this is why um, the food day labels are not approved, are not like approved or checked by um, FDA, FDA or the USDA. But the FDA and the USDA definitely have the closest power to this problem. What I mean is that their mission is to ensure food safety and protect consumers from um, any like fake or misleading um, food labels. To sum up my research, is the um, key problems present in our food date um, system, dating system. The first one is the federal level and state level. Okay, so I'm not gonna read this, read them all. <laughs> Yeah, but this, oh, I already covered this before, so. Any questions for me? So yeah. this is Joe. Um, so do you know um, why or how the manufacturers like determine the sell by or use by dates mm -hmm. at all? Did you look into that at all? Oh uh, yeah, actually I came up with that before. They, they um, they think highly of the consumer's experience of their food products, so they run their own tests um, among consumers, and they um, they have their own they have they, they do their own lab or survey to determine the um, those state labels. Ultimately, they just want to make sure the consumers have good experience with their food products, so they have they can build up their um, reputation. Yeah. Yes. Um. Abby, this, like, with the options available for food labels, is there a preference that consumers are showing that they want more, like, they'll recognize expiration date over, like, a sell-by date or something? Do they prefer to have one or the other? Or is it really strictly just re regulated by the government? Um, actually, I'm not sure, okay. but, but I don't think food labels are very strictly regulated. The, the federal level regulation is like voluntary and pretty vague, so it's very inconsistent within, um, very, um, with states. Yeah. 